Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. So, everyone in the dog has heard of the multi-room system, the multi-room music system called Sonos. It's definitely up there in the top, uh, top rankings of multi-room music systems. Let's see what we think of it. Let's get straight into the video. <laughs> multi-room music system is a bit of a different system. Sonos have really hit the nail on the head with this, let me explain. So the whole point of Sonos is to have not just one speaker, but numerous speakers in numerous different rooms. So you may have one in the kitchen, you may have one in the bedroom, you may have one in the lounge. Now let's go through what Sonos products you can have in the different rooms. Now I'm going to try and make this as easy to understand as possible. So in the Sonos lineup you have what's called the Play series. We've got the Play 1, the Play 3 and the Play 5. Now it's a very simple system to understand. The Play 1 is the smallest speaker, the Play 3 is the mediumly sized speaker, and the Play 5 is the bigly speaker, the daddy speaker. Sonos also have the Sonos soundbar, more on that later, and they also have the Sonos sub. That pretty much completes the Sonos lineup of their actual speakers. Sonos also do a product called the Sonos Connect, which allows you to connect a, uh, an audio jack to this device and plug it into an amplifier if you have an external set uh, of speakers. And Sonos also have the Sonos Connect amplifier, which is pretty much the Sonos Connect but with an amplifier built in so you can connect two bookshelf speakers to it. Now I've been a user of Sonos for about four years now, but in recent years Sonos have taken over the, the game by letting you connect your speakers to your wireless network. Now previously you would have to have a bridge, the Sonos bridge. Now this is the bridge, the little small thing. You plug this into your router via an ethernet cable and then it sends out its own wireless mesh network that you can't pick up on your phone or anything else. Only the other Sonos products can see it and that is how the Sonos products mesh together and are wireless. Now one thing that people don't understand is if you have an actual Sonos player, so any of the Sonos devices plugged into the network, that will then act as a bridge. But you only need the bridge if your Sonos speakers are nowhere near your wireless network. That's when you need the bridge. But now what you can do is you can connect one speaker to your wireless network and then that one speaker will act as the bridge connecting with your router via Wi-Fi, via the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and then that, that, that will act as the bridge and then it will mesh to the other Sonos units via its own wireless protocol. A much easier solution. So now I've understood how these Sonos units connect and interact together, let's get to listening to some music because that's what we want to do. So to get everything set up, you need to download the Sonos app on your tablet, computer, iPhone. You can get the app on pretty much anything. And in the app, you can, well, add your music services. I have TuneIn Radio. I have my Apple Music connected to it. I also have my Spotify connected to it. And also the app can get music from your local device. So from your iTunes actual music collection on your phone and stream it to the speakers over Wi-Fi. I am primarily a Spotify user and I have to say my Spotify experience connected with Sonos has been nothing but absolutely excellent. There's been no dropouts, it's been absolutely brilliant. Now the app itself is well designed and it's a little bit intuitive, I'd say you need to get used to it, you can't just pick it up and use it straight away, it is a little bit clunky, but you know, if you spend some time with it, it is intuitive, I'll give it that. If you go on Spotify, you can look at different things like, well, if it's, uh, it knows what time it is, so say if it's like 3 o'clock on a Tuesday, it will give you a working playlist, so you can listen to music while you work, or say if it's Friday night, it will say Friday night turn up, and you can click on that and it will play some drum and bass. Pretty cool stuff, and you can obviously also have access to all of your Spotify playlists. And then let's just click on a song and look at the player. So this is what it looks like to play your music on the Spotify playlist. You can turn the volume up and down here. You can also play the exact same song in multiple rooms by clicking up here and then grouping two rooms together. And then you also have the independent volume control for each room. Now Sonos have just introduced Spotify Connect, so you can actually use the Spotify app on your phone to push music to these devices They will show up in the Spotify Connect section of Spotify. But it doesn't stop there. Sonos actually allows you to group speakers together. So I have two Sonos Play 3s, and I actually have them set up in a left and right orientation in the kitchen. So I don't just have two kitchen speakers in the same room and group them together to play the same song out of both of them. You can actually tell them that they're in the same room, they will label both, both speakers as just the kitchen and one of them will be the left channel and one of them will be the right channel. They make for a really immersive sound. 
Now you can obviously change a load of settings on the Sono speakers per room, so you can adjust things like the bass, treble, and balance. And you can also fine tune your speakers via this little protocol they have, where if you click tune, you can actually walk around the room, the speakers will play a really nice little sound. You walk around the room, the microphone in your phone will pick it up, and it will tune the speakers for the room, so they sound the best in the room that they're in. Now you can also get the Sonos soundbar, which pretty much you plug into your TV via an optical cable, and it is, well, a Sonos player. You can play music to it, like through the app as usual, but it will also get the sound from your TV and give you an absolutely awesome movie watching experience. You can also pair this in the same room with two Play One speakers, have those at the back and they can then act as the rear surround speakers and then you can get the Sono Sub and you can have that in the corner. So you can have the Sub, the sound bar at the front and then the two rear speakers for a full 5.1 experience in the living room as well as being able to push all your favourite tunes to the living room with the, all those speakers it will be so loud and so amazing and I really want to do that. Unfortunately I have never used uh, a sound bar. I've heard one and it's amazing, I've never used one. What do they actually sound like? These are speakers and I'm going to be listening to music. Alex, what do they sound like? Well, there's no point in me showing you any audio clips from these speakers because it's going to be going through a microphone and then through YouTube and there's literally just no point in that whatsoever. But I can tell you, hands down, I have heard all of the Sonos gear. I've heard the Play 5, the Play 3 and the Play 1. I've even installed a Play 1 in a rather large coffee shop uh, in the middle of my town and it easily, just one Play 1 fills this whole coffee shop even when it's full of people. The Sonos speakers are some of the best I've heard out there. And even the newer ones, like the Sonos Play Bar or Sound Bar, it's honestly phenomenal. It sounds incredible. The tuning they've done, I don't know what they're doing, but it is, they've, they've nailed it. And that Sonos Sub, God does it kick. That thing is mental. They've also just released uh, a Snow White version of the Sub as well. It comes in full on white instead of black. Really, really hot stuff. Now the Sonos system isn't cheap, but if you're looking for a multi music system that isn't going to let you down, that's going to give you awesome sound quality and is very, very, very versatile, that you can buy the own Sonos speakers, or you can even buy the Sonos Connect and Sonos Connect amp and add your own speakers into the mix and have them all in the uh, all, all in the Sonos app all together. I think it's honestly the best multi music system money can buy. But that's just my own humble opinion. This has been TechFlow. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>